Although it would be a dream come true to own a different type of vehicle for every conceivable driving situation, well, that's just not realistic for most people. And that's why we get so excited when we drive a vehicle that feels like it has no compromises, one that can do it all. And this comes pretty close to that ideal. The Audi SQ5 builds on the already great Q5 crossover with a dose of extra performance. So it'll do zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds, but there's still enough space to carry all your friends and all your stuff inside. It's even got air suspension to increase the ground clearance for mild off-roading. Let's take a closer look at the Audi SQ5 to see if it really is a no compromise SUV. How does it look? Like a lot of modern Audis, the SQ5 is sharp and stylish, but not overly flashy. To me, both this and the regular Q5 look great, and I think it's a design that will appeal to many shoppers. The SQ5's performance focus is denoted by details like the so-called aluminum optic trim pieces, 21-inch wheels, red-painted brake calipers, and quad exhaust tips that we'll touch on a little more later. How's the storage? Trunk space is more than ample, with a generous cargo area that fits 27 cubic feet of stuff with the back seats up, and 60 cubic feet once they're lowered. That's more than enough space for fitting a couple of suitcases with ease. Between the seats you can store stuff in this compartment, which has a sliding cover to pick between storage and the cup holders. The spot up front for phone storage is pretty small, however. You can also fit water bottles in the door pockets. Is it roomy? There's a very upright seating position in front, but more than enough seat adjustment, as well as leg and headroom, that I can quickly get comfortable. The back seat is generously sized too, and I wouldn't mind sitting back here for a road trip. How does the interior feel? Audi does a great job of making lovely car interiors, and this SQ5 is no exception. For starters, I really love the diamond stitch Nappa leather on the seats, and I also love how much information I've got right ahead of me in this huge virtual cockpit display behind the sporty flat bottom steering wheel. Now, I'm not crazy about how this infotainment display looks like it's sort of a tacked on iPad on top of the dash, but everything else, including all this carbon fiber trim, I really love looking at and touching. Is it well equipped? As you'd expect from the top tier Q5 variants, this SQ5 comes standard with lots of great features. Heated power seats, LED lights front and rear, three zone climate control, and 20 inch wheels. This car also has diamond stitch Nappa leather and 21 inch wheels, as well as the S Sport package that bundles red painted brake calipers, sport tuned air suspension, and an active rear differential. The $4,200 Prestige pack brings us tech goodies like virtual cockpit, navigation, a Bang & Olufsen sound system, a 360 degree camera, and even thicker front window glass to keep the cabin quieter. Pre-collision braking and a backup camera are standard. If you want adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist, you'll need to add the $1,800 driver assistance pack. How's the infotainment system? As in other new Audi models, the 12.3 inch virtual cockpit instrument cluster is wonderful. You can control pretty much all the car functions using steering wheel controls in this giant display. The primary infotainment system, called MMI and shown on this 8.3 inch screen, also works very well. You can even draw letters and numbers on the touchpad to make data entry easier. It does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but as there is no touch screen, using those features is a little more cumbersome than in other vehicles. Is it a good daily driver? As we've come to expect from a lot of new Audis, the SQ5 is really, really lovely to drive, especially when you leave this drive select mode in auto or comfort. As we mentioned before, it's even got extra thick window glass to keep it quiet in here. And really, when you're not driving around like a bit of a hooligan, it's a very, very civilized place to go. The air suspension is nice and compliant over bumps, and there's really no signals that this is any more aggressive from behind the wheel than a standard Q5. 
Again, I really like having so much information presented clearly in front of me on the virtual cockpit display. I don't necessarily even need to look at this screen for most functions. And there's a head-up display with a little bit more information ahead of me. So honestly, if you're using this as a daily driver, leave the drive select mode in auto and you'll be perfectly happy. This car does exactly what you want. It's a very, very nice place to spend time. Now, because we've got air suspension on this one, we also have all-road and lift slash off-road modes. That gives you a little more ground clearance and adjusts some other settings. So if you're driving down a dirt road to your cabin in the summer or something, that'll help out. I don't think anyone's going to go serious off-roading with this, but it does mean that you get a little more versatility for winter or gravel roads or things like that. Is it fun to drive? You get 354 horsepower, 369 pound feet of torque, and that's enough to get to 60 miles an hour in 5.1 seconds, which I think is a pretty good figure for a family SUV like this. The top speed is 155 miles an hour, but I really doubt most SQ5 drivers are going to touch that. What most SQ5 drivers will notice, though, is how much fun this car is to drive in any situation. The steering is really, really quick. The transmission's super responsive when you have it in support mode. With the air suspension stiffened and more aggressive, honestly, it feels more like a tall hatchback than an SUV from behind the wheel. How's the fuel economy? The EPA rates the SQ5 at 19 miles per gallon city and 24 mpg highway, which aren't particularly great figures as crossovers go, but are roughly on par with similarly powerful sporty models. How much is it? The standard Audi Q5 starts at $42,000 while this SQ5 is $55,000 before options, and our test car rings in at just below $66,000. Now, that entry price is pretty competitive against the prices of sporty SUV rivals like the Mercedes-AMG GLC 43 and Jaguar F-Pace S. What are the negatives? You know, I was really struggling to think of negatives for the SQ5 earlier because I really, really like this SUV. And then I looked closer at those quad exhaust tips that we talked about earlier. They're blocked off, they're just for show, the real exhaust exits under the bumper. Now, that's fine, this car still sounds great, but I find that a big disappointment in an S model that's focused on performance to not have real exhausts. Who should buy it? There's definitely an argument to be made that the Audi SQ5 can be your no compromises daily driver. It's a lovely luxury SUV, but it's still got that dose of performance fun that will satisfy driving enthusiasts. Frankly, I love everything about this, from the way it looks, to the interior, to the way it drives, to all the technology on board. So, if you're looking for a luxury vehicle with no sacrifices, well, the SQ5 might just fit the bill. If you like this Y by be sure to scroll down and hit the like button and leave us a comment if you've got any questions about the Audi. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get a new Y by every week, plus tons of other great video content. And you can follow us on all your favorite social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, motor1.com.